While Yen LeCun was dropping some of the coldest tweets left and right in the past few weeks, Meta also didn't hesitate and dropped some of the coolest progress they have made with media synthesis that includes both text to image and text to video generation in a single day. These two new research are based on the text to image model Emu they announced nearly two months ago, where it offers some insane out of the box text to image quality, which they also claim that people prefer it over SDXL based model 70% of the time. So building onto that momentum, this time they have published another text-to-image model but focused solely on instruction editing called Emu Edit. This is not like your typical generative image editor that barely works and feels like just an adapter. Emu Edit is not only capable of precisely following the editing instructions but also ensures that the part of the image and related to the instructions is not touched at all. Well, you could say it's just Photoshop generative fill without the need to specify the regions for the generations. But what's even better is that this instruction base editing model is so powerful, it can be few shot into masking images or even generate super resolution similar to what we've seen from control nest tiling. And if you look at the amount of data types Emu Edit was trained on, it all makes sense now why it can perform so many tasks so cleanly. Segmentation, semantic mapping, or even detecting hands right out of a generative model? I think this is the first time I've seen something like this. While the image generation quality is still pretty far off from simply generating from its original EMU model or even generators like Midjourney, these can all be forgotten once you have seen how crazy EMU video model can generate. No texture sticking, consistent subject background separation, but most importantly, the quality is incredibly high. You see, any other current text video all have a very weird problem, which is that they look so blurry or foggy for some odd reason. Even though the video resolution is only 512 by 512, which is pretty much the same as the other pre-existing AI video generators, the synthesis clarity is still a huge step up to other models with the same resolution. While Emu video is limited to only 4 seconds and 16 FPS, its hope of extending the length may not be as hard. Well, hopefully, because the model architecture is based on diffusion models, and how it works is that it first generates an initial image, then generates a video conditioned on the prompt and the initial image to generate the rest of the frames. So it doesn't sound like the length of the video is a huge bottleneck. But given how consistent the videos are, okay, fine, I actually don't know unless they show us the architecture. So yes, it's not open source, unfortunately. Comparing to other text video models, Emu video has a staggering high win rate against all the other models when benchmarking based on quality and faithfulness. The only model that came close to Emu video is Imogen's video when evaluating on faithfulness, which I am pretty surprised they were able to benchmark it since it's closed source by Google. But otherwise, the quality win rate are just like what I said for my first impression, it's fucking beautiful. On the downsides though, I don't see any camera controls which other text video like Gen2 and Pika Labs both already offer. Yeah, it's not open source, so I guess us open source people can only cry. And that's it for today. On a side note, I recently started a newsletter intending to use it as a substitute for my AI timeline video series, which you guys have asked for to return. And in this newsletter, I aim to deliver the most succinct, noise-free, and high-quality content on the latest AI research and news, so sign up now if you haven't. Shout out to Andrew Lascellias, Chris Ledoux, Alex J, Alex Maurice, Miguelum, Deacon, Fifao, Daddy Wen, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Uh, follow my Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see y'all in the next one.